This is going to be a how to set up an obscure lighting environment without any theory. It's just the steps that you need to take. This is a simple scene. These objects have been made in Wings 3D. They're all got the default grey material on them at the moment. And what I'm going to do is set the lighting up. If you want to know about the theory behind the lighting setup, then you need to look at obscure lighting experiment video to uh, to see how that all works. But this is just going through the steps and there's quite a few critical steps, but once it's done it'll work. So I'm going to begin by selecting the family of uh, objects here and modifying the material. So I'm just putting some reflection on some of the objects. So you can see now they're a little bit reflective and that's going to help interact with the HDRI backdrop. So in the Skylab uh, image based lighting tab, use HDRI image. I'm going to open and I'm just get it picking up reflections off this. I'm going to use Trepanhol 2, uh, the uh, 1280 di pixel diameter light probe made by Horo. And I'm going to set the intensity up at about 55. So it's providing a bit of reflection there. You can see that. Uh, turn the quality down to zero. Under intensity, I'm going to use apply to light source. Set the specularity down to zero. And on the effect, I want to turn off true ambience optimization, so that's unchecked. Under use as a backdrop, add to sky, make sure you set light from inside, that's a very important step, and turn off the cast shadows, that'll improve render efficiency. And in here, under the influence controls, include only the background. As you can see, the sun's already been disabled by loading, loading in the HDRI image. Right, so we'll check out of that. For the sky settings here, we want atmosphere off and set it at fully black so it can add to the sky and provide the reflection. So we're in this situation now, we've just got the reflections. And go into render options, I'm going to set the renders to premium effect and leave it at 64 rays per pixel. True ambience, TA scattering correction wants to be checked, boost light wants to be checked, and I'll set the maximum ray depth down to 4 to improve render efficiency. Right. The next step then is to create a light source, so that's a radial light, and I'm going to edit that and set it to True Ambience Optimization, Use Gel, Influence Control, Include the background in the procedural, and reset the material to default, and then check out of there, check out of there. Uh, before enlarging it, I'm going to modify its name to Background and it's very important that the capitalization of the B is correct and the word is spelt correctly because if you don't spell it correctly and have it exactly right then this won't work so when you set that to background edit that and enlarge it so it's wrapped around your entire scene and now fingers crossed you should be ready to render and get this effect working so I'll hit render and you can see now we've got very even light and it's also colored as a result of the combination of boost light and the HDRI image. If you find it's too heavily saturated, that can be modified within the Skylab by m taking the saturation up and down. Um, as it happens, I'm happy with that blue colouring. This blue colouring is coming from the intense lighting at the top of this uh, HDRI image. What I'm going to do is experiment with increasing the effect to get a little bit more light out of it. By using apply to light source, this means the intensity is acting as a multiplier to the effect, so only small changes are necessary at, uh, at this stage. So that's given it a bit more light to work with in the scene. Uh, render time is 12 minutes, so uh, at this point I'm going to, uh, to pause the video and, and we'll have a see what the final render looks like when it's completed. There then is the completed render. If you want uh, a little bit less noise in the scene, then you would need to modify the render options so you've got more rays per pixel. So that uh, that would help address that issue. So we'll just quick rundown of the relevant points then. So you want to be in true ambience, scatter correction, boost light, and uh, increasing the rays per pixel will reduce the noise. Reducing the maximum ray depth to 4 will increase the render efficiency. And in the image based lighting tab here, the important things to have is add to sky, so you've got the background added to the sky, which you made black. Uh, light from inside, turn the cast shadows off, set the quality down, set the intensity up, and remember to apply to light source. 
turn the specularity to zero, um, set the HDRI effect to disable true ambience optimization, and then modifying this control will work in conjunction with the intensity to uh, produce the brightness. Make sure you include only the background and bear in mind you can alter the saturation so that's the colour of the light arriving from the HDRI image by uh, this control so if you turn it down to zero you'll have a completely monochrome light source and another important thing is that your light which you wrap around the entire scene so this is a radial light that's been uh, modified should be called background make sure it's spelled out right and uh, it's got the capitalization there that's the same as the list because uh, light sources don't appear in the influence control options and the light source needs to be true ambient optimization use gel include the background and in the procedural reset the material to default and then if you follow all those steps you should be able to achieve this sort of result if you don't get that result, then re-examine your steps because you may have missed one of the important steps, so that's the end of the tutorial.